Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a mature heart cataract with not so well dilated people. Size of this people is about 4.5 millimeter. Let us observe this surgery. The main incision has been done at mid limbus. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision, about two and a half clock hours away. And now the anti capsule is to be stained with tripan blue dye. I usually use an air bubble. Beneath this air bubble, the dye is applied over the anterior capsule and the staining is quick. This is a bit of adrenaline to see if the pupil dilates little more. But in this case, the adrenaline had uh, no effect on the size of the pupil. The pupil didn't dilate. And now this is some more adrenaline and now the antechamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now hydro now uh, capsulorexis is to be done I'm using a uh, rexis forceps a uh, uterita forceps the anti-capsule has been torn, a capsular tag has been raised and now I am making the rexis a little larger than the size of the people. Just by intuition or experience you can guide the capsular tag in such a way that it goes just beyond the margin of the people and you get an adequate size rexis of about 5 millimeter. Hydro dissection is done. The nucleus is quite hard in this case. And now some more visco. And now the feco needle is introduced into the anterior chamber. The machine being used is Oatley Catarex 3 from Switzerland. Here goes the Feco needle. See the exposed part of the needle. This is because the nucleus is quite hard. Nuclear sclerosis is grade 4 or grade 4 plus. The people is not well dilated. But let us see if we can manage this case without using any people expansion device. Yes, we can. If the size of the people remains like this, about 4.5 millimeter, we can manage the case without using any people expansion device. We have to be very careful. We have to do vertical chop because we should not go in the area where we cannot see. In, in horizontal chop, you need to go to the periphery of the nucleus and in this case you cannot see the periphery of the nucleus so better you do a vertical job friends you must learn all techniques so that you become a very competent and very confident surgeon horizontal job vertical job even phaco surgery without hydrodissection no hydrophaco you should learn so that you gain more confidence gradually and you get this competence to manage any case. In this case I am using 400 millimeter of mercury vacuum, 40 ml per minute flow rate and ultrasonic energy of 60, uh, ultrasonic energy of 75 percent to emulsify the nuclear pieces. Yes, the nuclear pieces has been nicely managed. There are some bits and pieces of nucleus. It is coming out through the side put. There is a small bit of nucleus. It is not budging. And now my plan is to remove that small piece of nucleus first. 
otherwise it may get lost behind the iris yes this is the one it has come out and now with the help of this 23g simco cannula i am removing the cortex just catch hold of the cortical lens matter and remove it till the end of the nucleus management this surgery was real time and from that time it is 150% speed and now this is enlargement of the main wound little bit because the cartridge I'm going to use uses whiteboard cartridge and here goes the intraocular lens and it goes in the capsular bag you can see the optic is nicely covered by the rexus margin now the people has dilated because of the viscoelastic substance and this is an iris retractor we can check all around whether there is any cortex or not whether the intraocular lens is in the capsular bag or not all these things we can check yes the lens the intraocular lens is nicely settled in the capsular bag and now the viscoelastic substance that has been used for implantation of the intraocular lens is being removed thoroughly whenever the pupil is small when the size of the pupil is small and you want to place the lens in the capsular bag at on attempt it is better to use viscoelastic substance yes now most of the visco has come out I'm going to use the bimanual irrigation aspiration also for removal of the viscoelastic substance using the irrigating probe going behind the intraocular lens irrigating the capsular bag and irrigating the angles all around and it is done this is a bit of moxifloxacin and now the side port is nicely closed the main wound has been constructed in such a way that it doesn't require any hydration it is self sealed and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is formed integrity of all the wounds are checked and the case is concluded Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.